All right, what's going on, folks? This is Clayton over at AndroidAuthority.com. Today I've got the lovely LG Optimus 4X HD. This is in the white version, and this is the 16 gigabyte model. Now we'll go over some of the hardware on this phone, and then later in the video we'll review some of the software. As you can see here, we've got a Corning Gorilla Glass 4.7 inch True HD IPS display. IPS stands for in-plane switching, which the liquid crystals are arranged in a way that it provides a great viewing angle. It's a lot different than the uh, Samsung or the SAMOLED devices that Samsung has been putting out. Anyways, we'll go to the back. See we have our speaker port. This is our charging port. And then we have our headphone jack. Our power button's located right here on the top. And then we have our volume rocker right here, up and down. So we'll peel the back off really quick just to expose what's in there. As you can see here, we've got our removable 2150 milliamp battery. Now that's more battery power than the HTC One series or the Galaxy S3 by 50 milliamps. We've got our uh, internal storage expansion where we can put our uh, mini SD cards in here. We've got four gigabytes in there, external storage. And then we have our SIM card slot. And this might be available for AT&T users, but it's at the FCC right now, so we'll just see what happens in the US. Anyways, we'll just put this back on. Goes back on with the breeze. All you have to do is just press it. Sleek form factor, really solid phone. It's nice in the hands, it's not too light, and it's built really well. Anyways, we'll turn on this beautiful display. As you can see here, we have our lock screen. And when we press it, we can basically press anywhere and then just swipe it open to unlock it. So we'll unlock that, and we're greeted with our lovely Optimus 3.0 user interface. Now this is a uh, skin that LG puts on the Android 4.0 operating system, much like Samsung might incorporate TouchWiz or HTC uses Sense. But uh, this is LG's. It's really nice. It's not bloated. There's not a lot of bloatware on this phone when you get it. And so that's another plus. But uh, anyways, we can just go through some of the hardware. This phone has a Tegra 3 quad-core processor, which is insane. This is a very fast processor and in fact has another fifth core that operates at 1500 megahertz to keep the phone running in a idle state. Now if you're not doing something that's graphically intensive or you're just doing a small task, you might be operating on that fifth core just to keep you moving at a slow pace and not kill your battery. But this does have great battery life. Anyways, we'll pull down the status bar, get to some of the quick actions we can do here. We've got our quick memo, vibrate, Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth, airplane mode, rotation brightness, and NFC. Now, NFC is a really cool feature. I'll get into that in a minute. We can go to our settings menu and see here we've got our Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the usual uh, things incorporated in a cell phone when it comes all of our settings here. LG's done a nice job of uh, you know, uh, not bloating this device and not packing you with too much garbage you don't want. We'll just scroll through the apps. Um, we've got our downloads and widgets as well. We'll just check out some of the apps, such as the camera. There's a lot of cool intuitive features having to do with the camera. So we'll just open her up. Now we see here, um, of course, I'm just shooting my white background here, but we will get an idea for uh, how fast this camera is right now. Just snap a few pictures of my hand. And I'm basically just firing as fast as I can right now. We don't have a rapid shot like on the HTC One X or the Galaxy S3. But we did get a few pictures off. It's basically the speed of maybe the Galaxy Nexus. Um, we've got our front-facing camera where we can see uh, what's going on in the front. So there's that. We've got our zoom feature. Move my fingers. And we can go back. This is our autofocus, basically controlled by our finger when we're in the camera mode. We've got our self timer and settings optimized for time machine slot. So we'll take a picture with that. And uh, the time machine slot, ah, it must give us the options to share or set as something. Anyways, we'll just go back from that. We've got our camera settings, which include the brightness, the focus, the image size, the focus has auto or face tracking. Auto will give you automatic and face tracking is where you can tap on someone's face or the screen. We've got our image size, seed mode, ISO, white balance, color effects, the timer, geotagging. We can turn off our shutter sound and we can choose where to store it, whether it be in our internal uh, storage or in our SD card. We've got our camera help guide. Now anyways, we can go to our video recorder. 
And then our video recorder, we have some of the cool uh, ice cream sandwich things like the big mouth, big eyes, small mouse, small mouth, excuse me, a lot of just the funny animations that come on the ice cream sandwich operating system. We can also include some backgrounds or in space, put the device on the steady surface. I might as well just do that. Oh, and it's like a nice little green screen. I can say hello to Andy. How you doing, man? How's space? Woo. That's cool. If my hand wasn't on a white surface, I'm sure this would be a lot better green screen, but that's a cool feature. Anyways, we will just exit from that. And I'll give you an idea of some of the cool stuff you can do with the camcorder. Whoops, I keep pressing the stinking button there. Oh, and we're going to want that. <laughs> so anyways, here's our camcorder. You can see that I've got my hand there just for the sake of the video. And I'll record a video. Just move my hand along here. All we need is some footage just so I can show you some stuff on here. Thumbs up. Peace out. Anyways, now we'll go to our gallery. We can check that movie out. And while viewing that movie, we can actually... And slow it down in real time. And we'll bring it back and actually speed it up this time. <laughs> so we can uh, have live tracking of the time with the videos. We can slow it down or speed it up. And we can also track with this where we want to view in the video. We can slide this along and see um, basically a timeline of what we recorded. So there's a lot of cool features with the camera there. And we have our other settings here. We can get to the other videos we've taken. Anyway, some of the other stuff, we'll just go to the music player. Now, I've got Power Amp installed because I uh, prefer that. But we'll go to the stock LG music player. Just show you how it operates. And we should find it right here. It is themed with our icons there. And we'll be able to just go to a nice song here. Sounds nice. We can turn it up. This has some Dolby audio built in. And it sounds nice with the headphones that LG provided as well. There's our Dolby. Insert ear jack to use the Dolby mode, I guess. And we can navigate away and see that our music is still running up here in the status bar. And we'll do one of our quick memo apps, actually. So let's say I'm listening to this guy and I want my buddy to listen to the same song. Quick memo. And bring this, whoops. We can actually do that. And I'll erase this. And I will use the red pen. So we can see we have all our different pen options there. Whoop. And okie doke. And we have a crude memo telling my buddy to listen to some Chroma Star. Anyways, that's a really intuitive feature though, because no matter what app you're in, you can just pull down the quick menu, or the, excuse me, the quick memo. And you can just pop her down. You can even just put it on a blank canvas like that, or you can just do it on the surface of what you're working with. And we can either save it or just discard it by pressing back. But anyways, that's our music player. All right, let's check out some of the web browsing on this bad boy. It says ice cream sandwich, so there's a revamped browser. You can see we have our little LG tab right here. We have the back and forward buttons. We also have our zoom in, our add a tab and bookmarks. If we add a tab, it'll bring us to Google. I believe I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Check out our bookmarks. We've got our history, most visited. And we've got our saved pages, which I have none. Let's go back. This is our tab sorting utility. We just swipe left and right to get the tabs away that we have open. And we'll search for Android Authority. There we go. There's a nice little button for .com on the keyboard, but the space bar is a little tiny. You know, I need to connect to Wi-Fi. So as it loads, I'm just going to show you some of the settings menu here. We've got Stop, uh, Save to Bookmarks, Go to Home Page, Share Page, Find On Page. You can request a desktop site. I love that because I hate the mobile sites. 
save it for offline. We'll check out the labs and we can activate some quick controls. We'll go back. We'll just refresh the page. See, we don't have our little LG tab here anymore. Um, we can move our finger into the left and we have our Google Labs. Add the tabs. We've got our tab utilities. Open a new browser window, bookmarks, and the settings once again. We can go back to labs because I want to turn it off. And got our general settings. We can set our home page, toolbar, form autofill, privacy and security, got accessibility, advanced, bandwidth. And uh, check in for another video about more of the software having to do with this beast of a phone, you guys, because we'll have one up. So uh, stay in tune with AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube if you like the videos, guys. Catch you later.